Now, here's another print-on-demand company called Viral Style, and they're all you know they're they're all just different. And like another cool idea is that you can get a lot of ideas for stuff by just going and looking at all these things and seeing what's selling. Okay, so here's Viral Style, and you can create, you can sell, you can track. So it's basically the same kind of thing right here. You design, um, you just look at all these products they have here. Short sleeve shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, ladies, tank tops, um, v-necks, drinks, kids stuff, all over print, all over the whole shirt, phone cases, hats, jewelry, footwear, clocks, laptop sleeves. So you literally can go and you can like design on a clock. You see that? I mean, how cool is this? A round wall clock, you can go and you could design on a, on a clock if you wanted to. So you can go in here and you can like basically just go design on a clock. You have a base price of $14.95 and you can mark it up to $29.95 and that's it. You know, you can basically um, upload an image. You might want to find something better than, this, than, than the country girl's image or whatever. But um, you basically go and, and maybe I'll upload a different thing just to show you. I think I have a picture of a standard poodle from yesterday's training. So we might use that one. We'll see what happens when this one loads in. Um, but that's it. You just basically load it in. I don't think it'll go, go good though because it's white on white. So, um, yeah, see, it doesn't really look as good, um, but, you know, it won't really look that great. Um, yeah, let's, let's go, let's clear it, and let's see if we can upload that poodle, and we'll see if that works. So, anyways, you would have an image or whatever for whatever your base audience was. Oh, that image has to be higher. Okay, uh, maybe we could find one. Let me go back. These are all t-shirt designs. Maybe we can find one. Let's see if there's one here. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't, who knows? I don't know if this can work. All my images, I think, in this folder are designed for white back, uh, for black backgrounds. So, I don't know if I'm going to have anything here. Okay, I don't want to look too much, but you guys get, you guys get the point. Maybe we'll just do something like, let's say, um, high resolution poodle. Let's just do a high resolution poodle image really quick. Just see if we can get something that would look good. Um, on a circle. I'm just going to grab this one as an example and see... I'm going to grab one of these as an example. Save image. Poodle. Let's just see if that one works. So anyways, you guys get the idea though. You're just going to basically find an image. We're going to try this poodle and see if it works. Like if not, don't worry. It has to be a certain size. Yeah, images must be over 2,000 pixels. Let's try one more really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Let's see if we can find one that's big, over 2,000. Da, da, da. Give me one second. There's a settings, um, size, larger than 2,000. So let's try one of these real quick. Um, so if somebody had like a dog or whatever and you got a cute picture of the dog, it could work, you know? So like we'll see if we can get one of these images to work. This one's like a really high, high image. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's go back. And that's kind of fun. Now, you, you would design one, though. You would go to a designer and have them do one. You would say, this, the image needs to be over 2,000 um, pixels to be able to be used. Let's try this one real quick. Just, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to move on really quick because I don't want to do this. I've never used a clock before, by the way. This will be the first time. So if it doesn't work, then we're just, if this says no, then we're just done. So anyways, the idea is you find an image that could go on a clock. You have a base cost of $14.95. That's based on 50 sales. So you have to make at least 50 sales. Okay, here we go. Let's make this. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. That's not a transparent image, so let's get it like that. Let's make it like that if we can. I'm going to design it a little bit better. Get it nice and neat in there, like that. Okay, there we go. So we just designed a clock. Just like that. Look at that. I've got a clock. I've got a wall clock. Now, if you were able to target that breed of dog, dog owners and that breed of dog, that's all you would have to do. Okay, and you can go over here and you can even pre you can click the preview, you can go to next, and you can start designing this thing, okay? So that's all. You can basically design clocks. You can design all kinds of stuff. There's your, there's your preview. Your campaign title goes there. You can choose what colors you want it. You can choose all stuff, and it's going to look like that. Okay, very, very cool. So that's all you do. You go next, and then you start choosing... Um, you know, you have a profit estimator. It'll show you how much profit you're looking to get. It gives you a selling price. It recommends $24.95 as a selling price, but you can sell it for $29.95. And, you know, you're, you're generating $15 per, 
per your minimum profit per item is fifteen dollars, but the more items you sell, the higher profit. So your minimum profit is fifteen dollars. Okay, but you can generate even more. So let's say you're able to sell five hundred of these clocks. Your estimated profit seven thousand five hundred dollars. Your minimum overall profit. Now you can go and you can put this design on more products. So there you go. Just putting a dog, a simple thing, a white a white clock with a dog on it. You target the breed of the dog. Now you're going to want to use a picture though that you have better. And also that's the thing is that you can get like a you can get a designer to put together a picture, you know, of whatever. And you can target people. But the thing is is that how many breeds of dogs are there? There's like 20 breeds of dogs, right? So you can go in here and you could easily find them. So watch this. Like let's go breeds of dogs. And this is very very beginner just kind of showing you. Look at all these breeds of dogs here. Siberian Husky, Pug, Labrador Retriever, Beagle. So you can go and you can get a designer to tell a designer, I want a circle image over 2,000 pixels of each one of these breeds of dogs. And you go to a designer, give me an amazing picture of each one, and I'll pay you, you know, $5 per design or whatever. Okay? And then what you do is you go in here like Doberman Pincher. Once you go in and start placing Facebook ads, what, the, the cool thing is you can basically, um, let's go back, let's go create an ad. Once you get, once we start, once you get good at Facebook ads, look at how cool this will be. You can go in here. And you can create an ad. We're going to do the same thing. Quick little engagement ad. And we're going to do, uh, this ad is going to be Doberman Clock. So you can do the same thing we just did with the other, with the mug. And you go on here to Doberman Clock. You can target all men and women in the United States. And watch what happens. Doberman. Doberman Pincher. Doberman Pincher Club of America. Look at that. People that are members of the Doberman Pincher Club of America, do you think they're pretty loyal to Dobermans? You see what I'm saying? Like, look at all these audiences here. You know, there's just all kinds of cool audiences that have to do with Dobermans and related dogs and whatnot. So, look at this. 2,300,000 people are interested in just those two things in the United States. Okay? So, you do the same exact thing. You place an ad targeting people. You can target men and women in the United States who are interested in Doberman pinchers. Two million of them. And you can run an ad to that audience for $5 a day. Or... You can take out Doberman Pinchers, just run it to this super loyal group, Doberman Pincher Club of America, 58,000 people, run it right there to that group and you'll be advertising this product right here. But let's say there was a Doberman Pincher on it, okay? So then you do the same thing, you go over here and let's do um, Chihuahua. You get a beautiful picture of a Chihuahua your designer makes, whatever, and then you go and you put a Chihuahua clock together and then you go over here and say, I'm going to place another ad. Instead of Doberman Pinchers, we're going to do Chihuahuas, how do you spell Chihuahua? There we go. Chihuahua. Let's see. I love my Chihuahua. That's probably the right way to spell it. More like that. Okay. Chihuahuas. Chihuahua the dog. Okay. So just that one audience right there. Chihuahua the dog. That's 9.6 million people in the United States that have an interest in Chihuahuas. But look at all these different things you can like narrow it down by. I love my Chihuahua. Chihuahua right there. And you can just keep typing in like Chihuahua Rescue of San Diego. Um, Chihuahuas are awesome. You can like really kind of like really get in there. Chihuahua puppies. You can get in there more more loyal audiences. Okay, so it's just like all kinds of things you could do, and you can kind of like if that audience is too big, nine point six million people, you can narrow it down. Okay, people are interested in chihuahuas and people that are interested. So let's see, C H -H -H, I don't even know how to spell chihuahua. Sorry, chihuahua. People are interested in you know other things too. You can say people that are interested in. Chihuahuas are awesome. People are interested in I love my Chihuahua club. And you can like start to narrow it down. Okay, so we'll do like people that are interested in Chihuahua dogs and people are also interested in all these other Chihuahua things. I love my Chihuahua, Chihuahua puppies, Chihuahua puppy, famous Chihuahuas. And you can just start, look, two million, you narrowed it down to two million people. And that's what you do. You basically advertise a Chihuahua clock to people that, that love this. And they're going to basically see an ad that's going to promote this clock. So that's print on demand. It doesn't, you have a product that is gonna, that you don't ever have to have any clocks in your own house. You can make one for every single breed of dog. You can make one for every single niche. You can make one for everything, you guys. This is it. And then you just, you just keep trying to see, you follow the same kind of strategy right here. Okay, follow the same strategy. You basically create a graphic, like the Chihuahua graphic. You upload the graphic to viral style. You put it on a clock. You price the clock. You take a screenshot of the clock, you create a Facebook page for Chihuahuas, you upload that as an image with links to buy it, you run a $5 a day ad to people in the United States who like Chihuahuas, and then you sit back and see if any sales come in. 
And then listen, over time, you're going to get better. This is very general. Over time, you're going to learn how to be able to place. Inside of Techademics and the paid members areas, there's all kinds of training on how to become a Facebook advertising pro. So if you, you can always become a paid member of Techademics, um, like joining the Entrepreneur Club, joining some of the courses, and you can learn more about Facebook advertising. But that's the goal. The goal is to understand print on demand on a high level. What is it? How do you use it? What does it do?